Let's get straight to it. Lock six Monroe. So this video, I'm going to keep it just real short, all right? Because it's, it's a topic I see a lot on social media. I just want to talk about it right quick. So real quick, this is going to be for black men who are dating interracially, okay? Look here, case in point, if you're a black man, queer or straight, who's involved with somebody of another culture, that's totally fine, you know? That's cool. Like, love is love, do you? But the, but the problem is... If you black, if you a black man and you dating outside the culture and you putting down black people, that's where the problem comes, all right? Because it's, it says a lot about you. Now, once again, if you a black man that's outside the culture, dating or having kids or married or whatever, you know, and once again, you queer or straight working class or celebrity, cool. Not a problem. I want to stress this, you know. I don't hate people. I'm just being honest, okay, when I say this. But there are a lot of black men, okay? And women too, but you know, I'm trying to get black men on top. I'm trying to get black men together. There are a lot of black men out here who date and marry outside the culture, right? And they put down black women and they put down black people as a whole. You shouldn't do that because, you know, your non-black partner may have, you know, a lot of hidden, I'll just say a lot of unconscious negative connotation about, you know, know about us. And they may say, well, you know what, you know, I got a black boyfriend or a black girlfriend or a black man or a black woman, so I can say these things, okay? And like a lot of non-black people who, who date black people, not all of them, but a lot of them be, but a lot of them like they get too comfortable, okay? Like they get real comfortable and they start thinking that they can say, you know, say nigga and do this and everything and say, well, you know, I'm dating black so I can. And you need to tell them that you can't do these things, all right? Have these talks, okay? Because a lot of black men who involve themselves with, you know, with non-black women and, like, a lot of black gay men who involve themselves with non-black men, like, I see I like, I like see this on TV and, like, just on social media all the time. They don't have those talks, man. So have these talks about race and race relations, all right? Because, like I just said, if they see you and how you talk about your people and just they see just all this negativity you have towards your own people, and they can affect on the unconscious level internalize all that. And they may feel the same way you feel, or they may feel even, you know, or they may, I mean, I'm trying to be careful how I put this, but in so many words, they may reflect on the unconscious level how you feel black like, about your own people. You know, and they may say, well, you know, you say it so I can't say it, or you do it so I can't do it, okay? And another thing, in my experience, like I say, I, I work in mental health and I've, had conversations and I've talked about this. A lot of black women, you know, they really don't care who you know who we date. You know, they just like when you put them down, okay? So if you're a black man involved with a non black person, that's cool. That's totally fine with drink out of badge black women. Look here, dating outside the culture and marrying man outside the culture don't make you a cooner. Like in my book, ran a coon in my book. Like I don't care. I'm all about black people but but personally, I don't care who you date, okay? Do you. I don't care. The problem I have is when you dating outside the culture and you putting your own people down, like, that's my problem, okay? Like, do you. Do what you want, but you ain't gonna put your own people down. You feel me? Like, I just never understood this shit because, in my opinion, it shows a lot of self-hatred. Like, like you like, like, for example, if you're a white man, I mean, I'm sorry, if you're a black man who likes white women, cool. That's fine, but you ain't got, but when people ask you why you with her, you ain't got to sit there and say, oh, wait, well, you know, Black women did this or black women did that. Nah, you ain't got to say all that. Just be real. Just say, she understands me. She makes me feel good about myself. You know, she got my back. You, you see what I'm saying? Something like that, okay? You ain't got to go out the wall and start taking black women, all right? I'm not kissing black women's asses. I'm, I'm not simping, but you know, it's levels to this shit, okay? It's levels to this shit. I understand a lot of black women out here anti-black and hate black men and everything, but we ain't talking about that. We are about black men are doing better than our choices and just black men overall just having a better quality of life, okay? So, once again, if you're a black man involved with, involved with a non-black person, that's totally fine. Just don't be a sellout and don't talk down on, on your own people, okay? And whenever your non-black partner is attacking black people, sometimes it's on purpose, sometimes it's unconscious, have those conversations and let them know, like, hey, like, hey, man, like, not all black people are like this. Not all black men are like this. Not all black women are like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, have those hardcore conversations because what happens is, in my experience, you know, like, I got a lot of homeboys and homegirls who, you know, they've either dated a white person or been involved with a white person or a non-black person or whatever and get to talking to them and everything and, you know, 
when they first started dating, everything was good. But, you know, once it came down, talking about a lot of the serious stuff that goes on in the world, like politics and race and culture and stuff like that, like they non black partner was based on what they told me. They wasn't really ignorant and everything, but like they just didn't realize how out of touch their non black partner was or what our people go through and what our people face, okay? So in closing, it's cool. I'm not, like I said, I don't hate nobody, man. I, I want to stress that I'm cool with everybody. Like, love if you want to love, but I want to talk about this because I see it so much, okay? If you a black, once again, if you a black man, queer or straight, working class or celebrity, and you got you a non-black woman or a non-black man, that's totally fine. Love is love, okay? It's 2020. Do what you want to do. All I'm saying is, don't attack your own people, okay? Don't, don't do it. You ain't got to take on people, bro. Like, please don't do that. You know, let it be because they make you laugh. They make you smile. They understand you. They got your back. They understand where you're coming from. Like, they want to see you win, okay? No hate. All respect. Do you, all right? Monroe out.